everyone, and welcome to my channel Automation Control Solutions. I am Dr. Samo. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use an RFID card reader and writer module. We will also develop a program for smart student ID cards. Let's start. RFID means radio frequency identification. RFID uses electromagnetic fields to transfer data over short distances. RFID is useful to identify people and to make transactions. RFID is a technology that surrounds us every day. It's in our credit cards, passports, and products. RFID is essentially a form of electronic bar tag, in smaller sizes. A nearby reader can use radio waves to read the RFID tag without visual contact. Some RFID tags can be powered by a battery, but many RFID tags aren't self-powered. They're powered by the electromagnetic field created by the RFID reader slash writer. The RC522 RFID reader slash writer module is a great choice for RFID-based Arduino projects. It is low power, low cost very rugged, easy to interface, and extremely popular among students. It usually comes with an RFID card tag and a key tag with 1 KB of memory. It can write or read a tag, which means you can store any information in it and retrieve it. The RC522 RFID reader module is designed to create a 13.56 MHz electromagnetic field and communicate with RFID tags. Technical Specifications Frequency Range, 13.56 MHz is M-Band Host Interface, SPI slash I2C slash UART Operating Supply Voltage, 2.5V to 3.3V Maximum Operating Current, 13-26 MA Minimum Cur Current, Down, 10A Logic Inputs 5V tolerant. Read range, 5 cm. VCC supplies power to the module. This can be anywhere from 2.5 to 3.3 volts. You can connect it to the 3.3V output from your Arduino. But remember that connecting it to the 5V pin will probably destroy your module. It should be connected to 3.3V pin. RST pin is an input for reset and power down. When this pin goes low the module enters power down mode, in which the oscillator is turned off and the input pins are disconnected from the outside world, whereas the module is reset on the rising edge of the signal. It should be connected to Arduino pin number 9. GND pin is the ground pin and needs to be connected to the ground pin on the Arduino. IRQ is an interrupt pin that alerts the microcontroller when an RFID tag is in the vicinity. It should not be connected. MISO slash SCL slash TX pin acts as master in slave out when the SPI interface is enabled, as a serial clock when the I2C interface is enabled, and as serial data output when the UART interface is enabled. It should be connected to Arduino pin number 12. MOSI, master out slave in, is the SPI input to the RC522 module. It should be connected to Arduino pin number 11. SCK Serial clock, accepts the clock pulses provided by the SPI bus master that is Arduino. It should be connected to Arduino pin number 13. SS slash SDA slash RX pin acts as a signal input when the SPI interface is enabled, as serial data when the I2C interface is enabled and as a serial data input when the UART interface is enabled. This pin is usually marked by encasing the pin in a square so that it can be used as a reference to identify other pins. It should be connected to Arduino pin number 10. Now let's go for a wiring diagram. Connect, VCC to 3.3 volts pin. Connect, reset pin to Arduino pin number 9. Connect, ground pin to Arduino ground pin. Don't connect IRQ pin. Connect. MISO pin to Arduino pin number 12. Connect, MOSI pin to Arduino pin number 11. Connect, SCK pin to Arduino pin number 13. Connect, SDA pin to Arduino pin number 10. RFID modules need a library. 
This library is called the MFRC 522 library, which makes reading and writing RFID tags simple. Let's install the library. Go to Library Manager. Search MFRC 522. Scroll for MFRC 522 by Gethub Community. Install it. Wait to complete and it is done. After the installation of the library, we will play with RFID tags. Before playing with tags, we must read the tags and display the information stored in them. Open an example sketch. This sketch just reads the tag and displays the information stored in it. This sketch can be very handy before trying out any new tags. Go to File menu, then go to Examples, then go to MFRC 522, then open the sketch, Dump Info. Go to the beginning of the sketch and make sure RST underscore pin and SS underscore pin are initialized correctly. In our case, we have, RST underscore pin is 9. And SS underscore pin is 10. If it is not initialized correctly our project will not work. Now verify, upload the sketch, and open Serial Monitor. As you bring the tag closer to the module, you'll get a complete data table. Keep the tag on the module and do not move the tag until all the information is displayed. The information will be displayed in table form. The table displays all the useful information about the tag including the tag's unique ID, UID, memory size, and the entire 1K memory. There are 16 sectors, each sector contains 4 blocks. Therefore, there are a total of 64 blocks. Each block contains 16 bytes. 16 sectors, multiplied by 4 blocks, multiplied by 16 bytes of data is equal to 1024 bytes or 1K memory. The information will be stored in rows, and there are 64 rows. However, all rows cannot be used to store the data. Yes, the rows with access bit 001 cannot be used to store the data. Yes, the rows with access bit 001 cannot be used to store the data. We also do not use row number 0 because it contains the identity of RFID. The rows with access bit 001 cannot be used to store the data. 0, 3, 3. The rows with arrows will not be used to store data. We can store the data only in the remaining 48 rows. A block is known as a row. Now, Let's write the name of the student. Remember, the length of the name should be 16 characters. Assume the following data and store address. Name, Elizabeth, will be stored in block 4 or we can say row 4. Family name, Emily, will be stored in block 5. Job, May 16, 2008, will be stored in block 6. Let's go for code. Hashtag include spi.h it includes the s Hashtag include spi.h it includes the spi bus library Hashtag include mfrc 522.h it includes the rfid reader library Hashtag define ss underscore pin 10 here we have defined slave pin Hashtag define rst underscore pin 9 here we have defined reset pin MFRC 522 MFRC 522 SS underscore pin RST underscore pin Initiate a MFRC 522 reader object Don't the change name Else you will receive an error MFRC 522 MyFair underscore key key It create a MyFair underscore key struct named key Which will hold the card information The followings are the block numbers That will be used right into and then read the data Int block 4 equals 4. Int block 5 equals 5. Int block 6 equals 6. Following is the data of students. String name equals Elizabeth. String f name equals Emily. String dob equals 16th May 2008. Following are variables we store data of students for RFID. Byte block name 16. Byte block F name 16. Byte block DOB 16. Byte block erase 16 equals all zeros. This can be used to delete a block. 
Following arrays with 16 bytes to be written into one of the 64 card blocks is defined. Byte read back block 418, this array is used for reading out a block 4. Byte read back block 518, this array is used for reading out a block 5. Byte read back block 618, this array is used for reading out a block 6. Void setup. Serial.begin, 9600, initialize serial communications with the PC. SPI.begin, init SPI bus. MFRC 522.pcd underscore init, init MFRC 522 card, PCD means, proximity coupling device. Serial.println, scan a student ID card, it show the message. Name.getbytes, block name, name.length, plus one, it stores name in memory. Fname.getbytes, block fname, fname.length, plus one, it store family name in memory. Dob.getbytes, block dob, dob.length, plus one, it store date of birth in memory. Following prepare the security key for the read and write functions. 4, byte i equals 0, i6, i plus plus xf. If, mfrc 522.pick underscore is no card present, return, it look for new cards. If, mfrc 522.pick underscore read card serial, return, it select one of the cards. Serial.println, card selected. Write block, block 4, block erase, it call function to erase data from block 4. Write block, block 5, block erase, it call function to erase data from block 5. Write block, block 6, block erase, it call function to erase data from block 6. Serial.println, old data was erased. Write block, block 4, block name, it call function to write data in block 4. Write block, block 5, block f name, it call function to write data in block 5. Write block, block 6, block dob, it call function to write data in block 6. Serial.println, new block was written. Read block, block 4, read back block 4, it call function to read data from block 4. Read block, block 5, read back block 5, it call function to read data from block 5. Read block, block 6, read back block 6, it call function to read data from block 6. Serial.println, block was read. Following, print the red blocks. This is the f int write block, inks. This is the function to write data in tag. Int write block, int block number, byte array address. To ensure this is the function to write data in tag. Int write block, int block number, byte array address. To ensure that we are on correct row to save the RFID tag. Int largest modulo 4 number equals block number slash 4 asterisk 4. This makes sure that we only write into data blocks. Int trailer block equals largest modulo 4 number plus 3. Determine trailer block for the sector. Following is authentication of the desired block for access. Byte status equals MFRC 522.pcd underscore authenticate, MFRC 522 pick underscore CMD underscore MF underscore auth underscore key underscore A, trailer block, and key, and, MFRC 522.uid. Following is writing the block. Status equals MFRC 522.myfair underscore write. Block number, array address, 16. This is the function to read data. Int read block, int block number, byte array address. To ensure that we are on correct row to save the RFID tag. Int largest modulo 4 number equals block number slash 4 asterisk 4. This makes sure that we only write into data blocks. Int trailer block equals largest modulo 4 number plus 3. Determine trailer block for the sector. Authentication of the desired block for access. Byte status equals MFRC 522.pcd underscore authenticate, MFRC 522 pick underscore CMD underscore MF underscore auth underscore key underscore A, trailer block, and key, and, 
MFRC 522.UID. Reading a block. Byte buffer size equals 18. Define a variable with the read buffer size, since the myfair underscore read method below needs a pointer to the variable that contains the size. Status equals MFRC 522.myfair underscore read, block number, array address, and buffer size, and buffer size is a pointer to the buffer size variable. MyFair underscore read requires a pointer instead of just a number. Now, verify and upload the code. I hope you liked it, now subscribe to it, and share it with your friends for more informative videos and technical projects. Let's move further. Here, we are visiting the system. In this system, you can see that we have a connected, RFID read and write module, with Arduino. We have followed, the wiring, as we discussed before. The VCC pin, IS connected to 3.3 volts Arduino pin. The reset pin, IS connected to Arduino pin number 9. The ground pin, IS connected to, to Arduino ground pin. Don't connect IRQ pin. Arduino pin numbers 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13 are used. Here. We have two ID card tags. And two keychain ID tags. The keychain tags also can be used as ID device. After verifying and uploading the code, it is the time to write and read the tags. As we have two ID card tags. And two keychain ID tags. You can store various information on ID card. For example, first name, last name, contact number. Data of birth, email address, postal address, expiry date of card, and etc. For the experiment, we are writing the same data on all four tags. The data is also read from all four tags. This is very useful for schools or colleges or universities. To view the output, open serial monitor. Here, you will see a message that scan a student ID card. When you bring the ID card near RFID, it will erase the current data, write a new data, and read a new data. It will display the data in serial monitor, like name, family name, and date of birth. I hope you liked it, now subscribe to it, and share it with your friends for more informative videos and technical projects. Kindly, wait for next video. Thanks for watching the video and your support.